Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Welcome to the Little News. Today is Tuesday, May 16th. Let's hear this morning's announcements. Psych! It's still us. Yeah! Students that are interested in going to France and Spain next year, as well as students that are already enrolled, there will be a meeting tonight at 6.30 in Mr. Bo Bozeman's room, B306. Dr. Bozeman? Doctor. You're a current sophomore. The new vote for president will take place today. Check social media and the school webpage for the link to vote. To vote, you must use your county Google email. Congratulations to Giovanni Santos and Caleb Jasper on becoming the Region 5 AAA doubles runner-up yesterday at Drake's Creek Park. They defeated Clarksville in their semifinals, and congrats on their great playoff run. If you didn't pick up your yearbook yesterday and want to purchase one, see Miss Peterson in room B203. The Theater 3-4 Showcase is Friday, and it starts at 6 p.m., and the auditorium it takes us our three dollars and you can get it in free if you have a student ID and stuff like that and please come out to support these outstanding students yeah the dance showcases tonight in the auditorium at 630 tickets are three dollars and students get in free with a student ID come out and support these students as well yes that's all for announcements yeah. back to us yes in today's news a Murfreesboro couple has been arrested for theft in a scam involving a new football league Christopher and Tracy White scammed investors with the plans of beginning a nor uh, North American Football League. The league would have included eight teams, and with the plans expanding, it'd go to 16 over time. The league was supposed to open spring of 2016, but it never did. One victim claimed that he spent over $400 million investing in this fake league. Yeah. Well, enough about fake sports. Let's head over to Zach and Jacob for the real ones. Hey, LHS, this is what we have for your sports. In NCAA football headlines, the National Football Championship game will now have an extended halftime to uh, accompany a uh, halftime performance similar to the Super Bowl. So now we'll be staying up uh, just a little bit longer late in the night just to see a football game. We also have some uh, NBA news playoffs still going on. Uh, the Wizards and the Celtics went into Game 7 uh, to see who will go into the Eastern Conference Finals. Uh, Celtics ended up winning. With the final score of 115 to 105, the Wizards just couldn't keep up with them. Bradley Bill uh, had a great performance, though, scoring 38 points, but just wasn't enough to carry his team. Uh, we also had the first game of the Western Conference Finals between the Spurs and the Warriors, where the Spurs were up by 25 points at one time. Uh, we're up by 23 points mid of the third quarter when uh, there's been a lot of controversy of the call, uh, Zaza Pachulia. Land was in the zone where Kawhi Leonard was uh, shooting a jump shot, didn't have a place for him to land, uh, ended up twisting Kawhi Leonard's ankle. He will not be uh, there for game two, which happens tonight. The Spurs are just going to have to find a way to rebound, uh, hopefully. Overcome adversity. Over yeah, overcome adversity just like they did it in the Rockets in game six. Uh, but that's all I have for NBA. Yeah, tonight, game three in Smashville. Um, predators causing a lot of stir, so uh, maybe they can get the win. They're causing uh, a lot of headache for well, not a lot of headache, but that a lot of events having to be moved around, like CMT um, awards and stuff like that. Hume Fog, another graduation had to be moved, but I'm we're really glad the Predators are getting along this far. So we wish them the best of luck tonight in Game Three. They really need to pick up a win tonight. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, but that's that's about all we have that's for all, sports. That's uh, and I guess this is the end of a legacy. Oh, it's been an honor to be your sports crew this year. I guess I'm Zach. And I'm Jacob. Signing, and this, yeah. signing off for the last time. CLHS. In other news, a South Carolina teen has passed due to a caffeine overdose. He drank a coffee, a Mountain Dew, and an energy drink, and then his heart went crazy. It's called cardiac arrhythmia. Whatever, Devin. The 16-year-old Davis Cripe collapsed around like 2.30, April 26th, and was pronounced dead around like 3.40. Let's go to weather. Uh, I'm not done yet.
like, can you call him now? <laughs> Krupp's father hopes, if anything, this will raise awareness toward the danger of caffeine drinks. Anything else? No, right. no. Let's go to weather. Okay. Chan Chan the weatherman. Chan Chan the weatherman. Chan, 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 up next, we've got a video highlight of recovering the Blue Devil News best of over the fall semester. I, I wasn't here last semester. And? I'm the best. How can there be anything, like, noteworthy or good on the show without me? Eric, I think this fame has gone to your head, to be honest. What, what are you talking? Devin, I'm the star. The yearbook said so. I... Were, I'm sorry, were you a star <laughs> in the yearbook? No, I was not. No, you weren't. Eric, this this is the school news. It doesn't really matter. This isn't the real thing. Like, I'm pretty sure 50 people watch it. Anyways, let's run the segment. <laughs> okay. We're done. I guess uh, we'll. He'll see you tomorrow. I'm out of here. Okay. Peace. <laughs>